Welcome to Reflections for anyone looking for just a little bit of church. Today, Jesus turns the tables on those who continue to try to trap him. Let's listen for what Jesus is teaching us. A reading from Matthew's Gospel. The Pharisees went and plotted to entrap Jesus in what he said. So they sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians saying, teacher, we know that you are sincere and teach the way of God in accordance with truth and show deference to no one. For you do not regard people with partiality. Tell us then what you think. Is it lawful to pay taxes to the emperor or not? But Jesus, aware of their malice, said, Why are you putting me to the test, you hypocrites? Show me the coin used for the tax. And they brought him a denarius. Then he said to them, Whose head is this and whose title? They answered, The emperor's. Then he said to them, Give, therefore, to the emperor the things that are the emperor's, and to God the things that are God's. When they heard this, they were amazed, and they left him and went away. Do you remember as a child how much you liked coins? If you were like me, you loved to put piles of your mother's and father's pennies and other coins into paper rolls and take them to the bank to be turned into cash. And if you like are like me, you also like getting the an allowance. Ours came each week in an envelope, and when we were older, it included a dollar bill, and they were always new, crisp paper dollars. I had a fascination with physical money, and particularly the larger coins. Somewhere along the line, I learned, however, that money was not very important, at least for me. Perhaps it was going out into the factory with my father as a child and saying hi to all who were working on a Saturday. This might have taught me about hard work and the importance of people over money. Perhaps it was going to a Christian school where we went to church every day that helped to keep me focused away from monetary rewards. Or perhaps it was finding that most of my friends in life, including priests, valued friendship over how much money each of us made or what assets we possessed. And I have come to realize how incredibly blessed I have been to ha have the love as well, as well as food and resources that I need to thrive. And that this blessing from God comes with a responsibility to give much to my family and my community. Today's gospel reading is another example of Jesus's ability to use parables, or in this case, a conversation to teach the Pharisees and others, including us disciples. He teaches what is right and good and what is not. Jesus always finds the right words and or story to teach those who have either evil or good intent. In this case, he teaches that coins are made man-made objects with heads of important secular people on them, and they are for the purpose of fulfilling earthly obligations and obtaining earthly things. But if we aspire to God's kingdom, we must, most importantly, love our God and love our neighbors as ourselves. This might include giving money, time, or other resources, but it, is most, it most means giving of our heart giving our love. We have heard many times that God is love, and giving love means giving God to others with our hands and our feet 
and our words. For years I have given 100-year-old peace silver dollars to individuals when they have shown me exceptional work or love. It might be that they have been a particularly good server at a restaurant or a good servant at church. Recipients might have shown deep love for me or others as a friend or family member. This gift has never been valued for its monetary value. Its age of 100 years and the symbols of peace and words of in God we trust have some value. But it seems that what has always been treasured most is verbal recognition, or in Jesus's words, a sign of loving one's neighbor as oneself. In a world of individuals that are loaded with self-doubt, there's a huge need for affirmation. So please consider joining me this week. As good disciples, let's reduce our focus on money and let's give more verbal recognition to our neighbors as well as our friends and family. It is then that we will be, as Jesus says, giving what is God's. Recognizing others for their God-given gifts is itself a gift wrapped in love. And all of God's children join me in saying, Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. This week's song choice is like last week, a duet of sisters, Lucy and Martha Thomas. They so eloquently and beautifully pay tribute to one another and to God with the affirming song, You Raise Me Up. Enjoy. <laughs> 